Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the three types of inheritance, public, protected, and private inheritance. What are they? How should you use them in your code? In the example, I have a base class B, and I have a class D prime, which is a private child of B, D plot, protected child of B, D pub, a public child of D of B. The three keywords, private, protected, and public, specifies three different levels of access control from the derived class to the base class. The access control rules can be summarized into four rules. Number one, none of the derived class can access anything that is private in B. This should be easy to understand because B's private members are B's privacy and no matter what kind of child you are of B, you cannot intrude B's privacy. Secondly, DPUB inherits public members of B as public and the protected members of B as protected. I assume you have used the public inheritance a lot of times in your code already, so this one should not be a surprise to you either. Both B, both B's public and protected members will become D pubs by public and protected members. Third one, D prime, uh, which is a private child of B, inherits the public and protected members of B as private. In other words, both B's public and protected members become D prime's private members. And similarly, um, D plot, which is a protected child of B, inherits the public protected members of B as protected. In other words, both B's public and protected members become D plot's pub, um, protected member. Now let's let's look at the uh, three kind of uh, inheritance from the casting po points of view. There are three rules. Rules number one, anyone can cast a DPUB pointer to a B pointer because uh, DPUB inherits all the public interface of B as a public interface. In other words, DPUB can do anything that B can do. So DPUB is considered a special kind of a B. Secondly, the private members and the friends can cast a deprived pointer to B pointer. And similarly, a deprived member, friends, and the children can cast a deprived pointer into a B's pointer. Now it should be clear to you that only public inheritance indicates a is a relationship between the parent and child. Neither of the private inheritance and protected inheritance indicates a is a relationship. Now let's look at uh, live examples. Our class B has three functions: a public function f pub, protected function f plot, and a private function f prime. Now let's look at the D pub, the public child of B. Inside D pub, there's a function f. F invoking B's F pub function is okay because F pub function has become D pub's public function. And similarly, invoking F plot function is also okay because it's now a D pub's protected function. However, invoking F prime is not allowed. Now let's look at D plot, the protected child of B. The plot f function can invoke f pub also, but the reason is f pub has become d plot's protected function as compared to a public function in d pub. f plot also has become d plot's protected function, and finally again it cannot access f prime. Now D prime class, which is a private member of a private child of B. D prime can access F pub and F plot 
because they has become a private function of deprive as compared to a, a protected function of deprot and the deprive also cannot access these private function now in the main function I created the dpub d1 and invoke fpub from d1 which is okay because fpub is dpub's public function I create a d2 and invoke fpub from d2 which is error because fpub is dplot's protected function not public function if I really want to invoke fpub function from d2 what I need to do is inside the dplot definition I add a uh, uh, using b f pub this declaration will bring the f pub function into the scope of d plot and then this error will go away finally i can cast a d one's point address into a b's pointer pb but i cannot cast a d two's address into a B's pointer. As we've talked, the public inheritance indicates a, is a relationship between the child and parent. Dpub is a kind of B. Then what does the private inheritance mean? Surprisingly, private inheritance indicates a relation that's similar to composition, in other words, the has a relation. Let's look at our example. Uh, we have a class ring and the ring tinkles. And uh, for the composition, our class dog has a ring, which is uh, M ring. And when dog tinkles, it invokes the rings tinkle function. This is commonly known as call forwarding. This demonstrates a composition code structure. However, you can do the same thing with private inheritance. Now the dog is privately derived from ring and the dog can bring the ring's tinkle interface into the dog's interface with this statement. Composition and private inheritance are similar um, in terms that both dogs can access ring's public interface and if dogs client want to access those interface the dogs have to bring those interface into doc itself's public interface with either call, call forwarding or with using declaration however they are not totally same uh, the obvious thing is that the private inheritance dog can access rings protected members and this guy cannot in general, the composition code structure is preferred over the private inheritance because number one, composition is considered a better uh, object-oriented code structure. Since dog, dog can only uh, access ring's public interface, dog and ring are more decoupled. And secondary, uh, the composition is more flexible. Um, for example, suppose um, the dog wears two rings uh, M has another ring M ring 2 with composition it's easy to do that but with private inheritance inheritance it's impossible and another example is uh, suppose uh, the dog is tied off the same ring and during the runtime it wants to switch to a different ring and again it's easy to for composition and hard for it's impossible for private inheritance there are a few rare cases where the private inheritance is actually preferred over the composition. Um, for example, suppose the ring has a virtual function tremble, and inside Tinkle, uh, the virtual function is called. And in the dog, um, we want to override the tremble function so we can easily define a virtual function tremble for dog and we can reuse 
the tinkle function of a ring. Um, if you want to do the same thing for composition, it's a lot more cumbersome. You have to create a new class uh, derived from ring and then override the virtual function tremble. And inside dog, you can have a, a member of the derived ring instead of, instead of the original ring. Overall, the composition is still the preferred uh, code structure. You should always use composition whenever you can and use private inheritance when you have to. This wraps up our discussion on the inheritance. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.